Former Attorney General William Barr said Thursday that the GOP needs to elect someone other than former President Trump to be the party's nominee in 2024. Barr, who served as the, as the nation's top prosecutor under Trump, had, was asked on Newsmax if he would vote for the former president in 2024. I don't think he should be our nominee, the Republican Party nominee, Barr responded. By the way, I could just imagine that somebody that, that you know, is like a pro-Trump person on Twitter is going to take the part where he says, I don't think he should be our nominee and then put the Democratic instead of Republican Party nominee to say that Barr, because every time you... Um, you you don't support Trump. You have some Republicans like on Twitter that will say you're a Democrat. <laughs> and I think the Republicans have a big opportunity. It would be a big mistake to put him forward, he added. Barr, Trump and Barr's relationship crumbled after Barr refuted claims the 2020 election was tainted by widespread voter fraud. Gotta love those claims with no evidence. In his memoir, One Damn Thing <laughs> After Another, I didn't even know his name of that book, Barr said that Trump had lost his grip after 2020 presidential election. He stopped listening to his advisors, became manic and unreasonable, and was off the rails. Barr wrote, he surrounded himself with sycophants, I believe that, including many whack jobs from outside the government who fed him a steady diet of comforting but unsupported conspiracy theories. Trump has similarly went after Barr, saying he caved to the radical left, adding the attor former attorney general was not one of my better picks for his administration. I made many great appointments during my administration, and we accomplished more than most administrations could ever dream of, but Bill Barr was not one of my better picks, Trump said in a letter to NBC News anchor Lester Holt. Okay, just stop it there. Um... So what we have here is an individual, because I, I always talk about how, whether it's Barr or Liz Cheney, these are people who agreed with pretty much everything Trump did in office, or, you know, if they didn't, it was like minor stuff, maybe something here, they wouldn't have done the same way, but for the most part, agreed with everything he did in office and drew a line when it came to something as insane as backing a conspiracy theory that an election was stolen with no proof. You know, that was where they all just said, okay, this is this is nuts. I'm 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 off the, the Trump train. And these people, to an extent, should get some credit for at least having that tiny bit of sanity, right? And I've said that about Cheney before, but they should also be criticized for their position on issues that we still disagree with them on. But in the case of Barr, he's not upset because Trump is going, you know, if, if Trump gets, let's say, a second term, you know, a, 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 he tries to be the new Grover Cleveland and gets a, a, a second term that's not consecutive. Um, he's not upset about what Trump might do, what positions he had he doesn't agree with him. No, he's, he is butthurt because the person who made him the, the most famous he will ever be as, as his attorney general um, no longer likes him because he wouldn't follow him down the road of ridiculousness of you know, saying that the election was stolen. So this isn't really a matter of people with integrity being like, hey, look, this guy, his positions on X, Y, and Z, awful. Pick someone who's, you know, got some more common sense and supports this, that, and the other. It's just a bunch of, I'm just going to say it, old men upset each other over stuff that really doesn't matter. Oh, he was one of my better picks. Oh, he claimed the election was stolen. You know, where, where the issue really should have come from was January 6th. Um, and you could argue that Trump's rhetoric before that could truth. But the, the point is that this is not people upset and not wanting Trump to be the 2024 nominee because of his actual positions. positions. It's just a revenge tactic by Barr. And I think that should be pointed out.